Yeah, I don't even know like how this issue even started. I really believe that Scusta Klee and Flo G did not intentionally try to do this and Hello boy, it's your boy Julie B with the news today hat issue. Welcome to my channel, my name is Julie B and today I'm going to talk about the ongoing issue about Skusta Klee and Floji's plagiarism on BTS's Bane. I have never listened to any of Skusta Klee's songs, but I have listened to many many BTS songs so I think I can give an honest review and opinion perspective from my side. I believe that Skusta Klee is a rapper. Uh, we're going to listen to Dang first by BTS and compare it. So the flow of this song is like If I hear some sampa thing you got me right terrible thing hakujo urera burper thing yeah you gon' say I'm good or some not thing hip hop thing rap style thing so it's like 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 you know um two syllables and then one bang. So let's see how that's similar with the new Skusta Klee song. All right, let's go. Okay, it's already different. Already different. Different vibe. Guys, I don't know. Let me listen to the full song first. Dang. 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 Is that it? Dang. Yeah, just dames, right? Okay, first of all, um I don't know what was plagiarizing. It does sound similar, Dame does sound similar, but it has different meanings, right? It's not Dang, it's Dame in his own kind of... I don't know what it stands for, but just by looking at the title... Um, the flow is also different, it's triple it. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, Dame. So that's like 10, ten syllables in there. Vipai, Nirsam, Sarpan, Dang, that's seven. So it's totally different flow that he's doing you know it does sound similar but if you guys want to see real similar flow it's more like uh scott storch scott storch is a very popular producer in in the u.s like producer for russ you know many people um where was it this is very similar to that flow this uses triple it Listen carefully. It's just a flow, guys. It's a very common flow. Like very common hip hop flow and I don't know what you guys mean by plagiarizing because you have to be careful with using that word, right? It's music and this is not a particular melody even, right? For example, when I'm writing a song da, 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 Like 5 million miles away from my place, like someone from the other side of the world can have the exact same song Da, 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 right? It's like there's 7 billion people on this earth and there's 7 billion brains, 7 billion music, right? So it's obviously gonna be common to find duplicates. In my mind, 
I always think that whenever I write something, no matter how original it is, there might be a song like that. I really believe that Skusta Klee and Flo G did not intentionally try to do this and make it sound like BTS's thing. I just think they were making their own stuff and going for the vibe, the West Coast vibe, you know? It's very Western. The music video, the instrumental, the bass, the vibe. Everything is just so different from BTS's style. I'm just gonna look at some comments. Sir, I'm embarrassed for you. Two seconds in and armies can already tell that this is Dang's Dollar Tree version. Save yourself from the embarrassment and delete. I'd be hiding my face behind a mask too if I tried to come out with music that I knew damn well wasn't mine. Be true to your own gift, music passion. That's how BTS did it. What? Like is this... What? <laughs> I seriously don't get it guys. You know, I'm a big fan of BTS and I listen to a lot of BTS's music, including Dang. Um, but I have lived in Canada for 12 years and was exposed to many rap music and I love hip-hop and the flow is just the flow It's a very common thing Like for example when you get a drummer that plays the triplet note on the snare drum Are you gonna call that a plagiarizing thing? Like they're just playing like on the drums You call something plagiarizing when there's more than that when there's a melody the beat the flow the vibe, everything is kind of really imitating the other person. That's more like plagiarizing. If it's a flow, especially rap, it's about how you do it. Just by listening to this, no, they're just doing their own thing. This is not like BTS at all. So I don't know why so many ARMY fans are angry, right? And them putting 43k dislikes. I don't think this is fair, to be honest. Like seriously. I don't think this is fair. I obviously don't know what the intention of this music video is and what they're saying. You know, it's it's kind of gangster hip hop-ish, so they're probably like swearing or whatever, you know? And that's that's so common in like American hip hop as well, right? The swag thing, the the bling bling, you know, the lit thingy, right? I'm speechless because like seriously, I don't even know like how this issue even started. But I seriously think that this is not right. You know, and it hurts for me as well because I had a song with that kind of flow, that kind of uh, rap flow. But if I upload it when I get popular, I feel like many of armies are going to come to my channel, my video, press that dislike button and say, you're a piece of crap. Hide behind the mask. That's not your music. Like what? Are you serious? That's just, just bashing, pure bashing. And that's unnecessary. Right? Like they were hitting US number one on billboards. But why are you even putting Skusta Klee or Flo G or someone else into this? They don't even need to care about those kind of things. They're making more new music. They're just going up, skyrocketing. But I don't know why. I just don't know why. You guys have to create such conflict or issue and bring BTS into issues because that's not good for BTS. If you guys bring in such issues, a lot of people in the Philippines, like fans of Skusta Klee, might actually hate BTS, right? And we don't want any of that because automatically right now, BTS is getting so much fame and popularity that they don't need this kind of issue to make them bigger. So my point is that I think it's win-win for both sides. Um, <laughs> well, definitely Skusta Klee did get some popularity of, of this video because of the ongoing issue. And I'm pretty sure he doesn't really care about it, but still, I kind of do feel bad for him. And it's also a win for you guys, BTS fans, armies, because now you don't have to worry about anything. This is not something to build anger, drama, and confusion. I think it's best if we just listen to what we love and just follow who we love and respect each other's music and perspective. And no, I am not getting paid by Flo G or Skusta Klee. I actually don't know them at all, seriously. I've never heard their music, but after listening to this song, I'm probably gonna, you know, listen to their music because they're pretty good. Like, I'm just gonna be honest, they're good. Don't get me wrong, I'm not here to be on their side, but I just wanted to clear up some misunderstandings and confusion there may be. And everything is just purely my opinion and perspective, so please respect my community, the YouTube community, the chat, and everything. Maraming salamat po for your time and understanding. May God bless you all, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and bye! Bye! Ingat po!
Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and bye. Bye. Ingat po.